For people in the mid-state who received their second dose, it takes more than a week to develop that immunity. News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen talked to a local doctor who explains why. The vaccine rollout is in full swing in Tennessee. Well, they already have some immunity from getting the first vaccine, a uh, little uh, north of 50 percent. The second dose gives people more than 90 percent immunity after a week. So what our bodies are doing is, especially with a second shot, amplifying that response. They're more ready for it because they got primed with the first shot. Dr. Tracy Osborne is an infectious disease specialist at TriStar Southern Hills Medical Center. She has received her second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine, and she had some minor side effects, including a low-grade fever, headache, and muscle aches. This is actually good news. And makes sense because these vaccines are revving up our immune system. Eventually, her body will develop immunity since she had the second shot. This means she likely won't get extremely sick from COVID-19 or she won't get it at all. However, she says people shouldn't let their guard down. And they still need to protect themselves and then they still also need to protect others. Even with immunity, it's possible to spread germs and viruses to people who haven't been vaccinated yet. That's why medical workers will still mask up and take precautions. That what we're trying to do is use the vaccines to help protect us and they do a very good job at they're very safe, but we still need to add that extra layer of protection with the masking and the distancing, not only for ourselves, but for others so we can starve out the virus and uh, move forward ending the pandemic. Reporting in Nashville, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. Now, if you're wondering when you will be eligible to get vaccinated, remember the state has launched a tool to answer that question. You'll just answer a few questions to get your results, and there's also a link to register yourself for the vaccine. We've posted all that information on newschannel5.com.